Hey guys, I'm back for another video, and today I am back for another Hypixel Skyblock tutorial. And in this one, I'm going to diagnose and hopefully fix lag on your Skyblock Island. So as you can see, I have a pretty busy island. There's a lot going on. There's people online almost all the time like this guy. I mean, there's beacons. There's... Uh, a ton of minions over there. You can see them doing their own thing. There's a lot of stuff that um, could cause lag, but I still sit at around a cool 120 to 150 FPS, and that is because I've avoided some very laggy things that I'm going to explain in this video. So, for one thing, anyone that watches my episodes of the series would remember there were about three episodes where the island was so laggy that we literally couldn't play the game until we left the island. And it turns out, um, if anybody experiences this, it's characterized by mostly um, hitching. So you'd have decent frame rate for a couple seconds, and then your game would just freeze. And then it would come back again after a few seconds. And that is caused by lighting updates. So if I grab a pickaxe out of here, and if I were to, for example, break right here, and then put it back, it actually didn't lag me too bad there. But sometimes, doing that, breaking a block and placing it again, and doing a lighting update, I think it's more obvious when it's in an area that's like in the middle of a large section, like over here. Hmm. I can't seem to replicate it right now, maybe because I have Frames Plus installed. But um, anyway, in vanilla Minecraft, what happens from that lighting update is it hitches your game terribly. And it turns out a lot of people are accidentally doing this with minions. So, rule of thumb, if you have a bunch of minions, make sure that there's a barrier underneath. So that when, for example, this minion breaks a block, or any of these minions breaks a block like this, that there be a block under it. Make sure there's a block under it. Because if there's not, when he places the block back down, it will cause a lighting update which will cause hitching on your island. That is the biggest source of lag in my experience. It's really obvious, and just that one change, putting blocks underneath all of your minions, will be a huge fix. And also, I should recommend, beyond the island itself, it's good to have Optifine installed and Frames Plus. Links in the description for both of those. They're great. I have them both on a Forge client, and um, if I were to do slash frames plus, then it brings me to this menu. You're able to toggle all sorts of things, like um, it, it just you know does a lot of small changes, like um, lag that comes from chat, from the GUI, from world loading, things like that. And obviously, Optifine has so many things you can do. Keep your render distance low, obviously, but back to the Skyblock Island itself. So what else could be causing lag? Uh, fire, any cosmetic items, for example, the recent cosmetics, like as you can see up there, there's a lot of armor stands. So if I go up here, you can see there's a work table. As cool as this looks, it definitely causes lag uh, because each and every one of these is an armor stand that has like a block put on it. And... Um, and they're entities. Same goes for these. They look amazing, but they're all entities. So, um, remove all of these if you have lag. This includes the sand castle. This includes basically any cosmetic item that you put down. Uh, for example, I have a cosmetics chest over here. Uh, any of these, the tent, um, the dining table, beach chairs, things like that. Those can cause a lot of lag because, again, entities. Uh, speaking of entities, Item frames, armor stands, redstone. Having redstone going is laggy, even though pistons are disabled at the moment. Just having like a redstone loop will cause a little bit of lag. Uh, let's see what else do I have on my list here. Oh, and hoppers. So, in, on, our, on our island, we have a lot of hoppers. If we wanted to optimize the island even better, keep in mind I have a pretty awesome PC. But if we had less powerful computers, we would remove all these hoppers down here because every single game tick, or every, I think every four game ticks, every single one of these hoppers is checking if there's an item above it, which is how it's able to pick it up. So if you want to optimize your island even more, no hoppers because then every game tick, it won't be checking. So increase performance even more. And just the, th the fact of the matter is minions cause lag. 
So reducing the amount of lag they cause is by far the most important part with those lighting updates. So yeah, make sure that all your minions have proper lighting so that there's no discrepancy in lighting. For example, the glowstone underneath is a good strategy. And of course the blocks at the bottom. If you, just that one change alone fixed our island. Like it was borderline unplayable for us for a long time. <laughs> well, anyway, leave a like down below if you enjoyed this video. It was a short one, but I figured I might as well put this out as a little PSA because I know how unbearable lag can be, especially when it's that hitching that just stops your game for a couple seconds. Like that is borderline unplayable. So yeah, I hope I helped you out. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like, maybe even subscribe and watch the, um, the Let's Play where we do all this crazy stuff. Um, I guess that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys later.